Well, it's good to be with you today. This is Dr. Buddy Crum here today with my partner, Don Wells, and we're always glad to come and share with you what we can. We always invite your uh, questions, if you'll just send them to us. Uh, and uh, But we also uh, invite you to go to and Help Me Invest, where Don is there and spends 30 minutes with you on a Zoom just to find out what it is that are your goals and desires and your and what areas you need to to invest and he's not selling you anything has no portfolio to sell you we just have such a heart to see the yeah. kingdom of god established through having wealth and that's part of it yeah. sometimes you have to uh, Uncle Harry's story is not always the best one. It's not always suitable, <laughs> That's right. even though it can't miss. His, his <laughs> Uncle, Uncle Harry's stock tips may not be the way to go for, yeah. Uh, and you do have to be careful because there's always somebody that's got a hot tip. Or, uh, and I usually tell people, avoid that. There's a discipline. Maintain that discipline. That's how you build wealth. Uh, you consistently do the right things for a long time. That's the secret to building wealth. Yeah. Uh, you invest consistently and you do so in good stuff. You, you look at it every year or so. You don't need to check it every day or, or mess with it uh, too much. But again, that's where a good financial planning, when we talk about planning, and, and I'll go back to what you said earlier, because uh, now, and, and now in the industry, you know, we call it sometimes comprehensive financial planning. Yes. It was financial planning was such a new term that, that it was, we didn't understand it. Now it's what we call comprehensive financial planning because uh, to sit down with somebody, uh, we all have, mo most of us only have so many dollars. And so it's really, when you think of comprehensive, comprehensive financial planning, what you really, what I would like you to think of is you're really just prioritizing your dollars. If you make $10,000 a month, $5,000 a month, that, that, that's only going to go so far. So if we have children and we want to invest in a 529 uh, for their college education, or if retirement is at the, the, the front, um, life insurance, disability. Uh, many times people say, well, you, do you not believe in life insurance? We very much. Uh, we're not licensed to sell it because for the, for the very reason that I often say I don't want to have anything to sell people. But uh, life insurance is very important. It's risk transfer. As you're building your, your uh, when you're young and you're building your wealth, that, that risk, what you're doing is you're buying into a company that's transferring that risk to, to them. So uh, if something happens to me while I'm building that, I protect my family. Same thing with disability. Those, those are good things, but there's only so many dollars. Yes. So a good planner and a good financial plan is the ability to say, right now, this is our priority. Uh, we need to do these things. And that's why we like financial planning, because many times people just generically, and you've seen this, uh, they will generically say, well, I just got to get out of debt. Well, no. so they take all of their money, and they work, and they work, and they work, and they're giving up years of compound interest when maybe they could put a little bit towards their debt, but they could also invest a little bit. And then five, 10 years down the road, they're in a much better place. Absolutely. Because yeah. time is the one consistency you have to have when you're, when you're building your wealth and having compound interest. It's the, we, we use the term in finance, the time value of money. That's our calculations. Mm -hmm. We pull out our financial calculators and say, what is the time value of money? Uh, what, what's better, a dollar invested today or next year? Well, we, you know, you, you look at the concept of that and we realize the sooner that I can get something working, the better it is for me. So uh, I want to be able to get something working and making money as, as quick as I can. And that's really what financial planning and suitability is, right. is about. That's all tied together because what we're doing is we're prioritizing those things and making sure with those objectives, those plans, that we're getting the right thing in place. We don't want to put something super risky. You don't need to be uh, trading options or shorting a stock because you're trying to make up for it uh, or putting something on margin. I just, I just read one of the big hedge fund managers in New York lost $10 billion and he was very sophisticated. He came out of a very elite uh, select group of people. Uh, that have a reputation as being incredible money managers, and he lost $10 billion. He lost $10 billion. Now, the banks lost money. Everybody lost money on that deal. That goes to the smaller investor uh, because he was, he was putting money on margin, hoping that a stock went a certain direction. He was gambling. 
yeah. uh, with that, and he lost big time. So that's suitability. Um, a smaller investor doesn't need to be doing that. They, they, they need to right. understand how important that is and uh, where you're at in the stage of life and liquidity is, is important or uh, this is important. So that's... Well, you know, financial planning is still, uh, has become more and more of a profession yes. and more and more sophisticated. Yeah. Uh, even uh, in more recent times, they put in greater ethics uh, yes. requirements yes. and uh, yeah. it, it, it's uh, and you have to remain a little more uh, up to date by yes. going through different upgradings. So that that's an advantage. And also, it's a lot of, for even smaller investors now mm -hmm. can get a lot of help.